Hello everyone, I'm Nick Gizmondi. The competition in the 100 meters has now thinned out considerably for Usain Bolt in Moscow at the IAAF World Track and Field Championships. American sprinter Tyson Gay and Bolt's teammate, Jamaican star Asafa Powell, both tested positive for banned substances in July. Gay had posted the best time in the 100 this year at 9.75. Coming up tonight on NBC, Michael Phelps swims in his last Olympic event ever, the 4x100 medley relay. Tony Acevedo leads off this week's On the Web. The water polo captain is heading to his fourth Olympics, aiming for that elusive gold medal. Seems he has some spare time, though I'm not sure he's going to be trying this one in London. Well, today is June 23rd, Olympic Day, and all around the world, sporting events and cultural celebrations are being held to promote the Olympic spirit. In 2016, rugby returns to the Olympic Games with the inclusion of rugby sevens for both the men and women. But did you know, the last time rugby was part of the Summer Games was back in 1924. What's up, everybody? I'm Nick Gismondi, and this is AT&T Fanfare from Universal Sports. Today, we're hanging out at SeaWorld in San Diego with some pretty impressive swimmers asking you about swimming. Why don't you get in swim with the dolphins? It's a great idea. This is what getting rescue hopefully looks like. Loki's going to get me out of this mess real quick. Oh, good God. Oh, good God, good God. I have never been more happy to see a dog in my entire life. If you like what you see here, make sure you visit universalsports.com for even more of our championship events. And send us a message on Twitter, at Universal Sports. That'll wrap up this month's event. I'm Nick Gizmondi. We leave you now with the best reactions from around the world. Thanks for watching Podium 360. Ciao.